we want to look at how to add and subtract things that numbers that have radicals. So when we do that, it's just like think about it as x's and y's. You can only add things that are like to each term. This is the same thing with square roots. So here I've got 5 square roots of 3 and 2 square roots of 3. Well, they both have square roots of 3, so that means I can do 5 plus 2, which is 7, and then my square root of 3 hangs out. Now remember, it, the square root of 3 doesn't change because it's like having apples and a oranges. So what that means is I'm saying it's normally like you'd say 5x plus 2x, which we know would be 7x. So this is just kind of an aside for how you can think about it, and then you could replace the x with the square root of 3 if you're having difficulties. Now as I read across, I get 10 square root of 2 minus 2 square root of 2. Again, let's look at the way I did before. So this would be like 10x minus 2x, which would be 8x. The difference is, everywhere I have an x, there's a square root of 2. So 10 square root of 2 minus 2 square root of 2 is just 8 square root of 2. If the little part up here with the x's is confusing you, then all you have to do is you just disregard that. If it's not, take the x out and enjoy that. Now, the last one down here, what do you notice? We notice I have a square root of 3 in one and I have a square root of 2 in the other. So those are different. So you can't add them or subtract them together. So if you're not seeing that, you can think of it as like saying 5x minus 2y. And so the x's and the y's are different, so that would be as simplistic as you could make it.